Hey there guys, it's Rick Utzer here with Aragon Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And today's video is really a continuation of our last video about why air guns. You guys sort of answered that question, didn't you? Why air guns? There's a whole bunch of people just chimed in about why they love to shoot air guns. You had, they're less expensive, they're more accessible to shoot in more locations. But one of the big reasons, really my favorite reasons, is that air guns are fun to shoot. Now, I have an AR here. This is an AR I built. I like this gun, I love to go shoot it. But when I shoot it, I don't shoot 20 or 30 rounds, I'm shooting a couple hundred, that's expensive. I still love to go do it. And I do have to sort of drive someplace to go do that. I can't really do that here on my range. But what if I could have sort of that kind of fun, but in my backyard or right here at my range? And that's what this air gun's all about. This is the new Crossman DPMS. It is an AR variant, it's semi-automatic and full auto. This thing's pretty cool. We're gonna get into this gun today. Stay with us. Before we get started, I'd like to say thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in these videos. Guys, you know I say it every single time. If you need an air gun, you need some pellets, BB, CO2, anything in that genre of outdoors fun in the airgun world, get it from the airgun experts, www.pyramidair.com, and please let them know that Rick sent you their way. Now let's jump right into the Crossman DPMS. So what this gun is and what this gun isn't, okay? It is a semi and full automatic BB rifle. Very, very cool. What it isn't is a hunting or precision shooting gun. So if you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna go out and hunt squirrels with this, not gonna happen. And you can do it, but it's not ethical. You don't wanna do it. As far as precision, it's a BB gun, guys. It's not a pellet gun. So accuracy is going to be BB accuracy. With that said, this does bring a lot of fun to the table. Now, construction, it's plastic construction. Most of what you see here, in fact, of everything what you see here is really plastic. Now, it's not a cheap toy plastic. It does feel like a pretty decent composite. So I think you're gonna be okay there, but it is plastic. Just go into it with that understanding. Um, you are able to break it down like a traditional AR. I think that's pretty doggone cool. And in here you can lube these components and do some maintenance, which I think is also kind of a cool thing. So we'll lock this back up. On this side you have all your standard AR switches. We've got our fire selector, so you have safe, semi, and full auto. Here you have your bolt release. And over here we have our mag release. Now one of the things they've done that I think is pretty smart is in this mag, instead of some unrealistic number in the hundreds with a, with a wheel or something like that, you've got 25 shots. Now, that does a couple things. One, it limits how much you drain your CO2 between you know, shooting sessions. Because the faster you shoot, or if you go full auto, that CO2 becomes less efficient. So that's kind of cool that they gave you 25 rounds here. The product ships with this little speed loader. Um, this lasted two or three times and then it quit working. So great idea, did not execute very well uh, on this thing. Uh, too bad, because it was kind of nice. I'll show you how to load this up here pretty quickly, because actually you figured out a way that makes it actually pretty easy. It does come with flip up sights, and they are plastic, but they are, again, that sort of composite. They don't feel cheap, and they, they work just fine. The scope, if there was something I've got a little bugger boo about, I would have liked a metal scope. Uh, this is also plastic, so that's sort of a thing I, I think really should have been metal uh, in all of this, but it's plastic. Uh, I'll tell you that in all our shooting, and we have shot a lot with this, it's held zero, it still works, and it's probably fine. That's probably my own aversion to just plastic optics, not a fan of them. Let's talk a little bit about performance, shot count, that kind of thing. So we've got our mag here, and in here is where you have your CO2. Pop this open here. All right. So you've got CO2 cartridges. You've got your Allen key right here. So everything that you need to charge this is right in here. 
Um, the two CO2 cartridges is gonna give you probably a pretty good number of shots. It'd be worth talking about 125, 150 or so, plus or minus, depending on conditions and so forth. Pretty decent. As far as velocity goes, on the box it says 430. Well, we sort of blew that out of the water because we topped out at 540. So that's a lot of velocity out of this. I don't know how that happened or why that happened, but we were getting high 400s and low 500s in our crony tests, which to me is pretty cool. Now I'm running the Umrex CO2. It's my personal favorite. You guys can run whatever you want. I like these. I think for me, they pierce a little bit more consistently. That's just my personal preference. I'm running the Daisy BBs. I found those to be super accurate. They hold up, they last a long time. Some of the other BBs, specifically the copper coated ones, they tend to pit and rust and you run those in your gun, you can really kind of bugger up your gun. You don't want to do that. The other BBs we're running because I want to shoot some steel targets, which I think this will be a lot of fun with. I'm running the Airventory Dust Devils. Now these, when they hit a hard object, they break apart, which is pretty doggone cool. So the first thing let's do, let's go ahead and load up our magazine. I'm going to show you some accuracy and then I have a special guest that's going to come on here and we're going to shoot some steel targets with the Airventory Dust Devils. All right, so when you charge your mag with your CO2s, please be sure to use some sort of lubricant. This is Crossman Pelgun Oil. This works great. I've also used the RWS silicone or you know the Umarex silicone. That stuff works fine. Or just pure silicone oil, any of that stuff, you need to put something on the tip of your CO2 to make sure that all your internals stay lubricated. Just make sure you do that. So I've got basically a full CO2 charge in here. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna load this. Um, without this thing working, this is how I do it. Take my BBs and I just pour them. There you go. I just pour them in an old pellet tin. I've got the foam in the bottom. And then with this hand, I'll pull back the spring. And it would be really good if they put a catch on there. And then you're gonna load your BBs. The one thing you wanna do here to make sure of is do not overload the mag. If you put more than 25 in here, your gun may not cycle properly until you get those first few shots out. Had a few of those problems, but uh, if you only put 25 in here, you should be fine, should be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll set the camera up and I'm just shooting at 10 yards, uh, free holding, we'll, we'll use the sight and we'll see what kind of group we get. I'll shoot five or 10 shots and then run full auto. Let's take a look. Okay, so pretty simple operation here, guys. I'm gonna switch to semi-auto. I'm going to charge it, turn our scope on, let's see here. Okay, so that's 10 shots, pretty decent trigger pull. It is blowback in here, so it's actually pretty nice. I'm going to flip this to full auto and let's see how tight I can hold the pattern. That was not too bad. I think one or two got away from me, but not bad at all. Now what I'm gonna do next, is we're gonna go ahead and load this up with some dust devils. And I have a friend of mine, is my nephew. He's gonna come up here and he's gonna run some steel targets. Let's see how he does. All right, Joey, how you doing, my man? I'm doing fine. You ready to do some shooting? Yes, I am. Did you, you shot this a little bit yesterday? Yes, I did. What'd you think of it? It's fun. It's fun, all right. So do you have a lot of experience shooting? Not really. Not really, okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through some of the basics of this. What's the very first thing we need to check before you take possession of any anything, any gun at all? Safety. All right, are was the safety on? Yes, it is. All right, also, we have no mag, so this thing is safe as safe can get, okay? So you can adjust this out. I think you're gonna be probably about like that. Now you're gonna pull it tight into the shoulder. You're gonna look for that red dot, and I want you to put Two shots on each target, go all the way, go left to right, then right to left, okay? And then I may let you rip full auto on one of them, okay? Okay. All right, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and load the mag up. In the meantime, what I want you to do is kind of go over there and sort of practice holding the gun and getting ready. I'm gonna turn the scope on for you. Again, safety is on. I give you that. You're gonna walk right over there and stand right there by that camera. And I'm gonna get this ready for you to do some shooting. All right, Joseph. I'm gonna take this from you for a second. We're still on safe? Yep. Okay. 
Okay, that's good to go. You're on safe. I want you to charge this, check your scope, check your sight picture. Do not put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to fire. I want you to put two rounds on each of the steel targets on your go. That's pretty slick. What do you think? It's fast. It's fast. Now go ahead and put on full auto and rip the rest of your mag on that center target. Try and make them all count. Not on the, not on the paper, but on the steel. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Up top. All right. Let's go wrap this up. As you saw, Joey had zero problem using this with this bundle optic, even though it's plastic. I know it's my own aversion but he had no problems keeping this on target and doing so safely and accurately. That is pretty cool. Now we have fired, we fire a lot of, of BBs. I mean, a whole lot. We've been through probably a couple boxes of CO2. Um, we've had zero issues. The only time I had any problem is when I put too many BBs in the magazine. That was on me, not on the gun. If you count your BBs going in there, no more than 25, you shouldn't have any issues. This thing has cycled very reliably, has been on target, and has been a lot of fun. Um, all in all, pretty cool product. Uh, again, build quality seems pretty rugged, pretty durable, pretty sturdy. Um, personally, I'd like it to be metal, but that's again, just my own personal preference. Everything else, it's been a pretty good, pretty good little air gun to have some fun with. Guys, that's gonna be it. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web. We're gonna tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.